Adding a custom content module to your system is accomplished in steps. Create the empty page. Add a menu item to connect to the page. Add the HTML content to the page. And finally, link up the page to the menu ready for your visitors to view it. To add the menu item to your system, ensure that you are logged in as an administrator or other account with admin rights. Choose Site Pages from Page Management under the Website menu to open the Application Pages module. On this page, all of your site pages are available for editing. Click Add Site Page. Enter a name for your new page. This will be displayed in the menu. Enter a suitable title for this page, short and suitably descriptive. Pages are a blank canvas, onto which you will add modules of content. From the drop-down list, choose the initial module layout. You will be able to change this later by editing the page. A thumbnail sample will be displayed as you change your choice. If you have custom page skins, choose the default skin you would like to use from the next drop-down list. If the page is going to contain sensitive data, credit card processing for example, you may elect to activate the secure socket layer by checking the checkbox. Finally, set permissions by checking the checkboxes to identify the level of access. The left pane sets the access level for those who will be permitted to view the page. General information may be available to anyone, whereas distributor information may be restricted to administrators or content managers. The right pane sets read-write or editing permissions. This would normally be set to administrator or content manager. Click save and close to save the new page. Now that we have created our page, we must add a link to allow a visitor to select the page when they wish to view it. Again, under the website menu, select menu management to view the listing of your existing site menus. Click manage items beside the menu you wish to add your submenu item to. The selected menu is displayed in a tree format that matches the current state of that menu. You may rearrange your menu items by dragging and dropping items onto the icons besides the item you wish to move them to. To add a new menu item, click Add Top Level Item. On the New Menu Item page, enter a name for the item. Select a short, descriptive term. This is displayed in the menu. Select the menu type from the radio button list. We are creating a new page to hold module content, so that is what we will select. You may elect to hide the menu item until you need it by clearing the Visible checkbox. If you want to pop open a new browser when a visitor selects the menu item, set the Open in New Window checkbox. From the drop-down list, select the page you wish to link to. Locate the page created in the first part of this tutorial and select it. To add an image, click Browse to upload a file from your computer. And finally, set your read-only permissions for the menu. Anonymous for general public information, up to admin for sensitive company information. Click Save and Close to add the new menu to your system. At this stage, we have created our page and created the menu item linking to that page. Now it is time to add some content to the page. As mentioned earlier, each page is a canvas containing modularized information panes. We are going to create a new HTML module and add it to our new page that contains some text regarding our company. With the new page selected, click the Edit Layout tool at the top of the site and click Edit Shared Layout. Your page is now shown in editing mode with the previously chosen layout displayed. A small pop-out tool is also opened near the top of the site. Click Create New Module to begin the process of adding a new content module to your Market Power Pro system. From the drop-down list, select the appropriate content type. We are creating an information pane that will be edited with the HTML tools, so select HTML Content Editor. Give the module a name and a description. Select a pane from the last drop-down list to define the initial pane where the module will be placed and click Add to add the pane to your page. You may rearrange your page by dragging and dropping the modules. The final step in creating our new information page is to add the content to the module. Click Edit Content in the module to open the editor and add your content using the feature-rich editing tool.
Finally, click Save and Close to complete the process. Click the X to close the Edit Shared Layout tool and return to normal page viewing. So, to summarize, we added a page to the system, then added a menu to show the page from, created a module to hold the information we wanted to show on the page, added the module to our system, and finished by editing the content for the module. Initially, this four-step process may seem a little daunting, but once you have done it a few times, it will become second nature, and you will begin to realize the power and flexibility at your disposal.